Fine too, thank you. How was your day? What have you been doing? Uh, I'm working all day. As always, yeah. yeah. Okay, very hard working person. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have new students. I back, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi guys. Hi Tatiana. Uh huh, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Very good, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Mm -hmm, very nice. And also Giuseppe, yeah? Uh -huh. Giuseppe, Juro yes, and Ibeck. Okay. Very nice. And where are you guys? Where are you from? Ah, Juro, I know. It seems Paul. Ah, uh, no. Serbia. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm, I'm from Serbia. Uh huh, okay. And who else left? Who didn't introduce himself? Okay, because I don't remember either. <laughs> My name is Ivek. Aha, Ivek, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Kazakhstan. Once more? Huh? Once more, please. Could you repeat, please? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Uh, so today we are going to talk about time, and we are going maybe I think that most of us should know how to say time in English, but uh, I think it's very useful information, and we should revise it. So here is the link. So please open it. I I have a question to you. Mm, when do we use AM and when do we use PM? What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah. When do we use AM or PM? Uh, honestly, I don't know. AM, AM before, I think um, we have to use AM before uh, the noon and wow. PM, and PM after the noon. Yes, you are absolutely right. Uh, Yuri, good evening. Good evening. Today, we are, uh -huh, today we are talking about, we've started to walk, so please join us. Um, open. Oh. You need to, uh, to share it with us. Because we haven't. Yeah, was the same. Ah, sorry. Sorry, this is a problem. Okay, so once again, Yuri, I will ask you um, when do we use AM and when do we use PM when we are talking about time? AM we use in the morning and PM in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay, very good. Alexander, good evening. Good evening. Try it. Try now the document. Is it okay now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, maybe someone knows just um, general rules. Giuseppe, can you tell us general rules? Um, how should we say the time? Okay, <clears throat> when I have to know uh, the time in my country, for example, I have to ask uh, someone uh, like, uh, what's the time or what time is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how should you ask when you okay. are asked? 
Okay, we have to begin with uh, it's. Uh -huh. It's, for example, four o'clock sharp or half past twelve. I don't know. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of ways uh, that I uh, we can we can say um, the time. Okay, you are absolutely right. So, um, in fact, we have two general, maybe two the most uh, uh, the most common. Uh, um, rules how we should say the name at the time and the first one is uh, it's uh, more English if it's possible to say and it's more difficult for us and the second way is very easy because you just uh, should say what you see for example if we have uh, um, look the chat box um, for example we can say only 14.15 and uh, it will be okay and they will understand what you mean but it's better to try maybe to try yes to learn the other way more English one so Sergey good evening you don't have the document right so yeah. once again open please and start to work so now it's time to open the document and work with it. And here we have a picture. So the first picture says that it's one o'clock. And uh, there are some several more words which can describe our time. Exactly when it means that it's 13 double zero. If it's uh, about, so it's maybe not uh, 13, um, it may be 12.50 or 13.05, something like that. And almost, yes, when it's uh, just 5 minutes to 1. Uh, so, we, if we have 13.00, for example, we just say only the, the number and the word o'clock. But uh, in England, uh, they usually don't use 24 hour system they use 12 hours and so they have only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 o'clock not 13 not 15 or 22 and that's why they use am or pm just to know that um, the first part uh, of the day it's AM and the second part is PM. And if you say 3 PM, you understand that it's uh, in the afternoon. And when you say 2 AM, you understand that something is happening at night. So uh, they only don't tell 15 minutes. They don't use such words. They use quarter. And if you want to tell that it's 12.15, just you to understand, they tell quarter past one. You can see it on the second picture. And half past one, that means 30 minutes. That the middle, uh, the middle of the hour, 30 minutes. So if you tell something before the middle of the hour, you should use past. If you are Tell the time um, after the middle of the hour, so it means 45 minutes, 50, 35 minutes. You should use two. For example, quarter to two, it means that there are 55 minutes. Uh, it's uh, 1 p.m. and 50 and 45 minutes. 10 past one and 25 to two. You can see the examples and they will help you just to understand. So, uh, once again, just to repeat, Yuri, please, uh, how do you understand when we use past and when we use to in the time? Past, past one is now. Now? Yuri, once again, we can use past 
when we try to tell the time or two. What's the difference? For example, uh, what's the difference between 10 past 2 or um, 10 to 2? 10 to 2? Mm -hmm. It's the past time. What's the past, not the past? <laughs> okay, look. No, maybe uh, we, we need to see uh, on the picture, uh, Yuri. Uh, do you see the first picture on the document? We talk about this. I just wanted to type just, uh, Yuri, please, once more look at uh, the chat box. So, once again, 10... Uh, wait. <laughs> 10 past 2. It means that it's 2 o'clock and 10 minutes. Mm, in Russian or Ukrainian it looks this way. And if we are talking that it's 10 to 2, it means that it's 13.50 or 15. Look. That it means that it's only 1, one o'clock and 50 minutes. 13.50. Okay. I, ju I just want you to look at the pictures once again. The first three pictures mm, shows uh, pictures show time before 30 minutes, yes, before the middle of the hour. And we use past in this way. It means that only uh, several minutes mm, went from that point of time like w 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock and if there are several minutes left for example to 3, 5, 7 o'clock we use 2 quarter to 2, 25 to 2 um, I think uh, it will be easier just to try to translate and uh, just try our skills so please, Sergey, we have the first expressions. I just want you to explain us what is it, what time is it. So the first, it's five past one. What time is it? Sergey, are you with us? Uh, sorry, may may I uh, listen, please? Uh, Only listen. While. Okay. okay. You listen. And five past one. It. Five minutes to one. And not to one. Five past one. It means uh, that one zero five. For example, if it's at night, yes. Because we don't have the a.m. or p.m. So it can be at night, at night, or it can be in the afternoon. Both variants are possible because we don't have a.m. or p.m. So five past one. How it can do? Um, it may be one point zero five, or it may be thirteen zero five. In time, we can see it in chat box. And to just to understand. Okay, uh, Alexander, please try the next one. Ten past one. Uh, it means uh, one ten. Mm -hmm. One ten, yes. PM. Or it's possible to say uh, sometimes thirteen ten, yes, if it's in the afternoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty five past uh, one, please, Juro. 25 past 1. Okay. And this is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, or it's also possible this way. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Giuseppe, please. Oh, um, a quarter to midnight. Quarter to midnight, sorry, we have five to two. 
Ah, you're talking about the... Um... Yeah, it's about English variant and we want just to understand. But uh, it's um, the, the the paper that you sent me? Yeah. Ah, okay. Exactly. The first page. Uh, ten, the first, five past one? Uh, no, five to two left. Ah, okay, five to two. Yes, five to two. Okay. Uh, like this. Mm -hmm. or, exactly. Or exactly. This. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, Michael, please try the next one. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, could, could, could you send me in the chat because I don't uh, follow you? Okay, I'll tell you. It's 22-2. 22, 2. 22 2. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, or if it, uh, it's at night, it will mm -hmm. be one twenty. Okay, and please, Yuri, let it be 10 a.m. How will you type it? 10 a.m. 10, 10 a.m. It is in the afternoon. No. No, it's a.m. 10 a.m. It means that it's in the morning. It is in the morning, yes. Yeah. So, um, okay. It means we can type it 10 zero, zero because we don't have any description words such as Exactly, almost, or nearly. We have AM in this meaning it is morning. Yes, yes, it means that it's morning and it's exactly 10, yes. And the same we have with 6, but it means that it's not early in the morning, but it's in the evening because in it's the evening. M. Yes. Yeah. Now your task is more difficult. But not really. You task just to name the time. You have numbers, and I think it will be easy. It will be easy for us to work. So let's start, and who will be the first? Alexander, please. Okay. The first. Okay. Um. Two. Ten. No. 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 You okay. just start, you should start from the minutes, but not um, okay. Okay. tell okay. the word minutes. Uh, ten past two. Mm -hmm. Very well. Uh, Who is next? Zero. Okay. Five. Uh, past. Fifty. Mm hmm. You just mixed everything. You when you should when you have to tell the time, say time. You should start from the minutes. So in the uh, in this case we have fifteen minutes, but we should call them quarter. Quarter. Yes. Which means one one fourth of the hour. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So for quarter. And then, past or two? What should we choose? Past or two? Two. Mm -mm. Uh, if past. it uh, past, yes, because it's only the beginning of the hour. So, quarter past five. Because 17 hours it means five. Okay. Um, Zappa, please, the next one. Yes, 20 to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Very well. Michael, please. 19.05. Okay. Um, uh, 20 to 1 past uh, 7. 5 past 7, yes, very good. Um, Sergey, are you ready to work now? No. If we uh, d don't hear answer, 
I think no, yeah. <laughs> okay, then Yuri, please. 22, 10. Are you sure? 20 past 9. 20 past 9. Mm -hmm. Alexander, please. Yes. <coughs> quarter to 12. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Jiro, please. Uh, four, five, two, two. Five, two. Once again. Five, two. Three. Two what? Okay. Um. What uh, will? Okay. What hour will be soon? It's fourteen fifty-five. Five to three o'clock, or it's better to say five to three p.m. Because three it's p. in the afternoon. Yes, five yes, to yes. three p.m. Okay, uh, Michael, please. Um, mm, it's not null null. Mm, three p.m. Mm -hmm, very good. Yuri, please. It's half past uh, nine. Half past eight. eight. No. Yuri, eight, yes? Half, half, half past eight. Mm hmm, very good. Alexander, please. Um, uh, ten to five. Ten to five. Jiro, please. Ten to ten. Ten to ten? It means no, that no, there no. are only ten minutes left to ten. No, no. Ten past ten. Ten past ten, okay. Um, Giuseppe, please. Yes, it's 25 minutes to 2 p.m. Very good, only one mistake. You shouldn't say minutes. Ah, okay, why? Uh, here is the rule, they don't tell minutes. Ah, okay. Um, so, only. It should sound as 25 to 2 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael, please. What's three bit next? Okay. Uh, uh, quarter past eleven. Oh, very good. And here is the last one, please. Twenty-five to five. No. No. Twenty-five past five. Mm -hmm. Yuri, please. Once again, when should we use past or when we should use to? We should past to. We should pass to ever since. Maybe, uh, Yuri, uh, do you understand how it works? No. I understand the rule. Look, past, okay, I should maybe in Russian it's better. Mm. Past, после, after means. After, post. Yes, so if there are only several minutes, uh, mm, not maybe several, um, two, half an hour to 30 minutes, after two hours, for example, so after so, so any any hour, you should use past because it's almost the, sa uh, the same meaning after and past. And when we use two, it means that there are only several minutes or fifteen or ten minutes left to come in the next hour. То есть первая половина до тридцати минут. Это past, а все, что идет во второй половине, это только past. We should use to. Okay. Uh, and uh, if we uh, uh, try to say maybe um, uh, 50 minutes, допустим, uh, if we uh, talk about uh, uh, this uh, time, uh, we, we should say uh, 50 past 10. No. No. Of course. Yes. We, we don't use it uh, after a certain. Look. Yes. Look. Uh, we have 60 minutes. Yes, in any hour. And you, if you want to say the time, you mm -hmm. should find the smallest, maybe the smallest number. 
Why? Uh, in Russian, you 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 can use it uh, li like uh, you. Yes, you can only you can also in uh, the UK say ten fifty. It's mm -hmm. possible, but it's much better. Even in Russian, we, we can say with yeah? mm -hmm. yes. So there are ten minutes to Two. come in another hour, and um, you should find the smallest number. Okay. Uh, if we have, for example, such, such town, mm -hmm. 35, yes, it's bigger, yes, than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we always should use number which is smaller than 30. Mm -hmm. And which one is smaller? 25, yes. So we can say that 25 minutes left to come in the third hour. Mm -hmm. So it's better to say 25 to 3 p.m., mm -hmm. not 35 past. So the, mm. um, the, largest, the largest number which we can say it's 30 minutes, but not 30, it's a half. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we should use smaller numbers. Here is the rule. Okay. Okay, and let's continue our work. Um, uh, here we have questions which can help you to ask the time. So the first one is, what's the time or what time is it? Here we have the translation, but unfortunately it can help only for Russian speakers. Uh, it can help Russian speakers. And but I think that others can understand the meaning easily. What's the time? What time is it? Could you tell me the time, please? Do you happen to have the time? And do you know what time is it? It's not. They are not difficult, these questions. And we have um, eight... What, what time uh, is it or what time it is? Uh, look, uh, it's uh, mm. incorrect, uh, in the indirect order. Mm -hmm. uh, and you and we should... Question. Uh, you, you, yes. need, you need to say, is it? Yes, because in questions we have indirect order. Uh, so the first place we have auxiliary verb, for example, to be, yes, is. And then the subject, it. But uh, look at the last question. Do you know what time it is? Not what time is it, but what it is. Because we have in the first part of the question, do you know, in the first part of the question, we have indirect order, as always. The first place is for auxiliary verb do, and then subject, you. And the second part of the question, it's also a question, yes, but it's the second part. What time it is in this part, in the second one, we should use the direct order. So the first place is for subject, it and then auxiliary verb is. Mm. So you shouldn't you shouldn't mix them. What time is it? But do you know what time it is? Or could you tell me what time it is? Okay? Yes. Very well. We have eight pictures, yes. And your task to name correctly the time. But I want you just to make a small dialect. One of you will ask the time, and the second one will answer. So the first pair we have Yuri and Alexander. Please, Yuri, what's the, what the time? What's the time? Uh, mm -hmm. The time is. Uh, Half past twenty-one. Are you sure? In my country, yes. <laughs> <coughs> are you talking about the first picture? Ah, ah, Alexander, we are talking about the pictures, eight pictures. Oh, sorry, I thought <laughs> about my. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, the time is uh, eleven o'clock. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, possible to say. Change your parts and talk about the second picture. 
Alexander is asking, and Yuri is asking. Okay. Um, do you happen to have the time? Now it is uh, five minutes to three. Oh, once again. Five minutes uh, past three. How could it be if we have uh, nine, yes, and two? Are you sure? We are talking about the second picture. Quarter to two. Yes, because you see that one hand of the clock, yes, it uh, shows nine, and the other one shows two. So two. it means that there are several minutes left. Fifteen, yes, in fact. Fifteen minutes left to what? To what hour? Two. Two, two, or maybe even to three? No, 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 two, two, I think. So, two, how will you say 15 minutes left to two? Quarter to two. Quarter to two. Okay, the next pair, uh, Juro and Giuseppe, please. Juro, you are asking. Okay. What time is it? Okay, first of all, good morning. <laughs> the good manner. <laughs> are you so. sure that it's, are you so sure that it's morning? <laughs> Good afternoon, because... <laughs> you are too confident. <laughs> because it's um, 25 to 3, I think. 25 to 3 or to 4? No. no. Look, the lo longer hand, yes? Ah, to okay. Three. Quarter past 7. Mm, the quarter? Past 6, past, maybe. Past 7? Sure. Past six. Past six, yeah. Ah, but... <laughs> it's not so easy, yes? <laughs> when we have only four numbers. <laughs> okay, but I think it's uh, 40 yeah. past six. Who, uh, who else thinks so? Yuri, what is your opinion? It's a quarter past six. Okay, what about Juro? Uh, six. Um, 15 minutes. So, quarter past six, yes? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So, together we've decided that it's better to say quarter past six. Okay, change your parts. Hi, what time is it? Quarter past six. Quarter? Only 15 minutes? No. How could it be quarter past six? Uh, four picture or three? Four. Are you, talking, are you talking about the fourth picture? Yes. But we have short hand of the clock. Nearly, it's nearly twelve, yes. And the, the longer one, the longer hand of the clock, it's on the number seven. But we don't have number seven, but we can guess. So it's uh, in other words, it's eleven point thirty-five. Mm -hmm. How to tell it correctly? Eleven thirty-five. Juro, try please. You should. I will say 11.35 a.m. and for me that's uh -huh. You have chosen the easiest variant, the easiest way, but yes. it's not very good because, look, uh, we can uh, use only 30 minutes. And, uh, so, the, uh, no, uh, the number must be larger than 30. And we have, in this case, 35. It means we can't use 35. We should find the smaller. And if we uh, 60 minus 35, we'll have 25 minutes left. And 25 minutes left to what? To what hour? To 12, yes? To 12. So 25 we can say. To 12. 
25 minutes to 12. Yeah, it will be correct. Okay, the first pair, please. It's Yuri and Alexander. The next. Do you know what time is it? It is. Mm -hmm, what time it is? I, I yes, I I do. Uh, it's um, it's difficult to say by Why? this picture because it may be half past one. Yeah. It may be half past two. No. Half past two, I think. Okay, let it be half past. It's two. only my opinion, but I I believe that it half past. It's half past two. Okay, change your parts. Uh, my question. Yeah. Could you tell me the time, please? Yuri. It's uh, twenty minutes. No, not minutes. <laughs> it's twenty past nine. Past nine? Are you sure? It's twenty two nine. No. No, no. It's, it's only. How many hours? Eight, yes? Eight, eight. hours. It's and 20 eight. minutes. It's 20 past eight. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, the second pair, please, once again. <coughs> Are you going to start? No? So, Judo, um, do you have to ask me? What? what did you ask? That please. What did you ask? Because I haven't what? I do didn't hear him. Do you hear that? Hmm? Could you repeat? Yeah. Giuseppe, please repeat once again. <sighs> okay, uh, so um, I am the first. Yeah. Okay. Good. What's the time? Mm -hmm. mm. Eight picture or seven? Seventh one. Seven. Okay. It is uh, five past ten. Mm-hmm. Yes, five past ten. And change your parts. It means that Juro is asking. Yes, yes, I. I uh huh. Not. Okay. What time is it? Okay. Okay, it's twenty to six. Let me see. Mm hmm Yes, twenty to. It's twenty to six. P.M. Yes, or a. Uh -huh, or a. Um, it's possible. Yes. Okay. Very good. And now we have another task. We have ten phrases with yes. the word time. And our task is to understand their meanings, to learn them by heart, and to learn how to use them correctly. So look at them. Um, Yuri, please, do you know any of these expressions? Spend time, проводить время. Okay, with maybe something else. Spend time with friends. Very good. Maybe some other phrase. Uh, waste time. Это ожидать кого-либо. Uh -uh. You are not right. Okay, so any, yeah? Only the first one, yeah? Work full time. Работать полные, полные часы. Yeah, so it means that you work during the whole day, maybe from uh, 9 in the morning, yes, till 8 or what? Till 6, something like that. In the Kill evening. Kill time. Kill time? Kill mm. time? No, no. Maybe it's a. Uh, in some way, kill time is quite close in the meaning to with made time. Oh, so with waste time. But kill time means that you have uh, free time 
and you just have to do something, just not to be waiting, bored. Waiting for something. Waiting? Yeah, yeah. yes, maybe when waiting. You, when we are waiting for something, to kill the time. Yes, yeah, so if you have free time and you have just to do something, uh, not to be bored, it means kill time. And kill time is almost the same as pause the time. I think that they are mm, just equal. But the time means that you also should spare, uh, should uh, spend your spare time. Spare means free time. Mm, in maybe in some unimportant way, something. Unimportant thing. Yeah, something doing for your pleasure. Mm, for example, reading books, watching yeah. films, not your work. Yeah. Something like that. So, how about uh, how about other phrases? Juro, do you know any of them? Mm, yes, I know. Which oh. one, for example? Spend time with someone. Make time to to give some time to to yourself to mm, to make. It's about make time or what? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's about making some time for something. So yes, like, when you try to find free time, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, waste time to, to lose your time in, in some job or something. Yes, in something unimportant. Yes, really important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have time to spare. Uh, this is to to have time to, to spare with your friends or something like that. Yes, when you have free time, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, work full time, we, we say. Yes. Uh, when you're working full time, eight hours or nine or mm -hmm. ten. Kill time uh, when <coughs> you want to when you're waiting for something, to destroy. We are waiting for something, or something like that, to, mm -hmm. to, to kill the time. Yes. And to put to death. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> to put to death or not? Put to death. Bored. It's not correct. Yes. And ah, to be bored. No. To be bored to death, he said. Ah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, save time. We save time when we do something the quick way. And pass the time uh, to to spend some times. It's almost the same as kill time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Similar. What uh, about run out? When you don't have the time for something. Yes, you are, short, you are short of time. Yes. And take one's time when you. I don't know, last one. Mm hmm. Okay, maybe Giuseppe knows. No, it's the only one that I don't know. And it's the last one. Yes, the last one. Take one's time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, uh, the next page we have examples. Examples with these expressions. Maybe they'll help you to understand better the meaning, and maybe at the end you guess what is the meaning of take one's time. Uh, so, please, the first one. Yuri, please start, read, and try. No, I. I should. You should translate, but mm. our guests won't understand. But okay, I think they can understand without translation. The first, the first nine phrases, and Yuri, please, and Alexander, please translate them. Sorry. Spend. Spend Spend time making walls and paths and building. Sorry, sorry. 
First you read and read, yeah. At first chance, spend time. Yes. At first chance, spend time making walls and paths and buildings. Aha, uh -huh, and buildings. So, how will you translate? Впервые чент проводил тратил свое время на making walls. На постройку стен. Yes. What is pass? It's a road, small road. Маленькие дороги и строения. Yes. So spend time means doing something. Yes. Okay, Alexander, please the next one. Many people find that they waste time doing nothing when they could do something useful. Многие люди замечают, что тратят время впустую, ничего не делая, когда они могли бы что-то сделать полезное. So waste time means doing unimportant things. Okay, Yuri, please. He made uh, time to do a bit more every day after work and every week. Mm -hmm. Он тратит свое время. No, no. Make time means to find free time for your hobby, for example, for your family, for something pleasant. Он находит время для намного более на многие вещи каждый день после работы и каждые выходные. Okay, Alexander. Whenever uh, he wasn't at work and he had time mm -hmm. to, to spare, to spare, yes, um, to spare, he worked on this huge project. Uh, whenever he wasn't at work and he had time to spare. So, had time to spare means to have free time. To have free time? Yes. Yes. Uh, whenever а когда, когда бы он не находился на работе, mm -hmm. да? yes. а, и, и он... А, и у него было свободное и, время. И у, него, у него было свободное время, он а, работал над его большим проектом. Try to say in English, please. Yeah, but it's difficult. Uh, okay, I just try to explain you in English. But for Yuri and Alexander, it's much easier just to translate and to understand the meaning. You see? <laughs> okay. Giuseppe, please. The next one is for you. And try to, <laughs> to translate it in English, from English. <laughs> okay. Jay paid Chen to work full-time on the project. Uh -huh. So it means uh, that um, uh, Jay paid Chen to work and the project is um, is all for Chant. It's very stressful for his for him because the project is um, is from own uh, hands. Hmm. You have a lot of responsibilities. Such difficult explanation. What <laughs> full time? What does it mean? It full work uh, every time. Not every time. It means that every you day. Every day, yes. Maybe from Monday to Friday, yes. Five days a week, four hours, uh, four hours a week, yes. It's, uh, I think, the most common, yes, period of work. Four hours. Eight hours a day, four hours a week. It's full time. Okay. Let's try. Juro, please. The next one. Okay, I had to kill time for the tour, so I walk it around the shops for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, in this paragraph, uh, he before his tour, he killed time with walking around mm, shops. Yeah, we see, but for, how can for, you change for, time? For, for some time, he is walking around the before his tour for some time yeah. he so he had walk. free time well, it, yes. just a little free time okay mm. Yuri please to save time and we go by taxi 
instead of walking. Мы тратим время. No, no. Save time means. Uh, yes, yes. Мы сохранили время и мы бы сохранили время, если бы мы поехали на такси на прогулку. Yes, so it means save time. Yes, yes, to do other things very quickly to have more time for something important for you. On maybe not important for the other action. Yes. So you do other actions to very walk. quickly. Uh, for example, it's better to go by taxi if you want to save time, if you want to have free time in future. If you want That's to give time, you must go on text. Yeah, exactly. Alexander, please say it one. It was a long, boring journey, so I passed the time by reading. Yes, it's possible to change it for spend time, yes, but it's much better to kill time, because um, when you are mm, engaged in something and you have free time, you can pass the time, yes, for example. For example, boring journey, and you have some, you have to do something, not to be bored. And reading is a good variant. Okay, Jura, please, the ninth. Nine. We wanted to see Rock Garden, but we went to lots of other places and eventually ran out of time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They want to see the rock garden, but they don't have a time. Uh, in, in the meantime, they don't have time for other place. Yeah, they, no, uh, they didn't have time to see rock gardens, because they yes, spent yes. too much time doing yes, other yes, things yes. Yes, and visiting other objects. Okay, and the last one, the most interesting one, is for Giuseppe. Okay, <clears throat> he didn't rush his work, but took his time with each sculpt sculpture, and they were beautiful. So, okay, mm, I I I thought I, I think that took his time. It means um, to spend a lot of time. But if you uh, if you would like uh, a good job, you have to spend a lot of time. Yes, and you shouldn't be in a hurry. Take time, take one step yes. to do something in appropriate temp, not to hurry and uh, maybe pay Slowly. even more attention to something. So for Russian speakers, take one's time means уделять время, достаточно yes. времени. Yes. Okay. And uh, I also advise you to look at the sentences uh, below the exercise yes. number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, I spend a lot of time studying English. I killed time reading a novel. I don't press you for an answer now, darling. Take your time. Yeah, it looks like someone is offering engagement, yes, or <laughs> marriage. Um, it seems to me, maybe because I'm a girl, <laughs> and man tells to his uh, girl that, mm, dear, take your time, don't be in a hurry, you can think over my offer. And shopping online saves my time, because I don't have to wait in line at the store. And it's really true, yes, that online shopping really helps helps us and shapes, uh, saves our time. So we have more time for other things. And stop wasting time playing computer games and get to work. So don't do unimportant things such as playing computer games and start working. Okay? And now the last task for today is access number eight. We should use these ten expressions in correct place. So, let's try. Yuri, please start. I spent a lot of time at work by only checking my email three times a day. Okay, yes, possible to say. Alexander? 
I hate at work, so I always plan my day very carefully. Maybe I hate waste time at work, so I always plan my day very carefully. Yes, I think waste time. Okay, Jiro, please, the next one. In my job, I need a lot of time traveling to other countries. Mm hmm. Or, um, yes, yes. It's very good. Um, Giuseppe, please, the fourth. Uh, uh, I always arrive at work mm. early, so I uh, save time before everyone else arrives. Uh, no, it's it sounds um, strange. Maybe okay. some something else. Any variance? So um, past no. time. Um, no, I think that the best variant is have time to spare. Same time. Yes, ah, okay. so I always arrive at work early and when there is nobody, I have time to spare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yuri? At that moment, I spent a lot of time, but I prefer to work three days a week. Mm, think once another one. <coughs> Look, it means no. It, it's it's about work. I work full time. Yes, at the moment I work full time, but I prefer to work three days a week, not five, not six, only three mm -hmm. days a week. So the best variant is work full time. Full time. Okay, Alexander. I own my journey to work by playing games on my mobile phone. <laughs> I kill time on my journey to work by playing games on my mobile phone. Very well, maybe some other variant is also possible. Yes. I, I spend a lot of time on my journey. No. Spend time means that you do something. Maybe. I waste time. No, why waste? Maybe make time. Uh, run out. No, no, not all variants. It's not. Okay, it's not right. Pass the time. Pass the time. Um, yes, pass the time and kill time. It's almost the same. So, it's possible to say I pass my time or pass the time on my journey to work or I kill time on my journey to work. Okay, Jiro, please. I always lose the time in exams no. because I think uh, run out time. First question. Giuseppe, please. I think I <laughs> give think a chance. Run out. Give a chance to Michelle. someone else. Yes, you should okay. risk. You should risk, uh, read till the end. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I think run out of time. Yes, because you don't have time. Because mm -hmm. uh, I spent too long on the first question. So when you have to answer the second one. You have just run out of time because you spent too much doing the first one. Okay, Giuseppe, please, your turn. When I go to an art gallery, I like and not rush around. I like take my time. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely right. So it means not to be in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And look at every picture very carefully. Mm -hmm. Yuri, please. I think it's more. It's important to to save time to do exercise. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. To find time, it's possible to say. To uh -huh. find time to do exercise. Yes, but we don't have such expression. It's not correct. Find time. Not not correct, but it's much better to say make time. I think it's important to make time to do exercise at least five times a week. Yes, make time means that you try to find spare time to do your exercises. Okay, and Alexander, the last one. When I'm waiting for a plane, the best way to uh, is to go shopping. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, <laughs> 
kill time or maybe yes, kill time. maybe pass. Okay, let it be kill time. Yes, it's possible to say. But as for me, it seems that kill time has more negative sense. Time? More negative, maybe kill time. But <laughs> in fact, it's only my personal opinion. In fact, they are the same. Heal time and pass the time. Okay, now it's time to finish our lesson, but I want first to ask you. So please, Yuri, what time is it? It is one minute to nine. You shouldn't say minute. <laughs> one minute to Not one. two. <laughs> One it just was nine, nine o'clock, just one minute ago. You should use past when there nine are only several. Nine o'clock it is. Hmm? 21 zero 01. My clock shows. So it's one past 21, but it's not correct. Sorry. One past 9 pm. Why nine? Why past nine p.m.? Yes, it's in Ukraine. Okay, what about Russia, Alexander? What time is it? It's one past um, ten p.m. Very good. Well. Wow. Uh huh. Then, Jiro, please. What time is it in Serbia? In Serbia is. It is. It is. Uh, eight. Zero two p.m. Why <laughs> you sh why you choose the simplest variant? Try the hardest one. So, just start from the minutes. How many minutes? Two. Yes. Yes, two. So two past because the hour only just started. Two past yes? eight. Two past eight. Two past eight. Okay. And what about Italy, Giuseppe? What In Italy, it's in Italy. It's two past eight, like Juro. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well. So, thank you for the lesson. I want you to have a good evening. Just have a rest. Maybe to watch TV, to have time with your parents. Read, read books. Yes, read books is the best variant. Maybe for someone to do some work. Go to bed. Sorry? Go to bed. Go to bed? <laughs> no, it's, it's early. <laughs> 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 Especially for Italy. <laughs> okay, so thank you. I wish you good luck and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. thank you.